The Sabaeans or Sabaeans Arabic, al Sabayun as Sabayun, Hebrew, Sb Musnad, were an ancient people speaking an old South Arabian language who lived in the Southern Arabian Peninsula. The Kingdom of Saba Arabic, Saba has been identified with the biblical land of Sheba. The view that the biblical kingdom of Sheba was the ancient Semitic civilization of Saba in southern Arabia is controversial. Israel Finkelstein and Neil Asher Silberman write that. The Sabaean kingdom began to flourish only from the 8th century BC onward, and that the story of Solomon and the Queen of Sheba is an anachronistic 7th century set piece meant to legitimize the participation of Judah in the lucrative Arabian trade. The British Museum states that there is no archaeological evidence for such a queen but that the kingdom described as hers was Saba, the oldest and most important of the South Arabian kingdoms. Kenneth Kitchen dates the kingdom to between 1200 BCE until 275 CE, with its capital Marib. The kingdom fell after a long but sporadic civil war between several Yemenite dynasties claiming kingship, from this the late Himyarite kingdom arose as victors. Sabaeans are mentioned several times in the Hebrew Bible. In the Quran they are described as either the people of Saba, or as people of Tuba Qawm Tuba Arabic. Kawem Tuba. Topic: History. The origin of the Sabaean kingdom is uncertain. Kenneth Kitchen dates the kingdom to around 1200 BCE, while Israel Finkelstein and Neil Asher Silberman write that the Sabaean kingdom began to flourish only from the 8th century BCE onward. And Jan Ratso writes that there is hardly any evidence for such a kingdom until the 9th or 8th century. Originally, the Sabaeans were one of the Shah'b'b's communities on the edge of the Sayhad Desert. Very early, at the beginning of the first millennium BC, the political leaders MLK of this tribal community managed to create a huge commonwealth of Shah'b's occupying most of South Arabian territory, and took the title Mkrbsb Mukarib of the Sabaeans. Several factors caused a significant decline of the Sabaean state and civilization by the end of the first millennium BC. Saba was conquered by the Himyarite kingdom in the 1st century BCE, but after the disintegration of the first Himyarite kingdom of the kings of Saba and Du Radin, the Middle Sabaean kingdom reappeared in the early 2nd century. Note that the Middle Sabaean kingdom was different from the ancient Sabaean kingdom in many important respects. The Sabaean kingdom was finally conquered by the Himyarites in the late 3rd century and at that time the capital was Marib. It was located along the strip of desert called Sayhad by medieval Arab geographers, which is now named Ramlat al sabatain The Sabaean people were a South Arabian people. Each of these peoples had regional kingdoms in ancient Yemen, with the Manians in the north in Wadi al Jaf, the Sabaeans on the southwestern tip, stretching from the highlands to the sea, the Katabanians to the east of them, and the Hadramites east of them. The Sabaeans, like the other Yemenite kingdoms of the same period, were involved in the extremely lucrative spice trade, especially frankincense and myrrh. They left behind many inscriptions in the monumental ancient South Arabian script or Musnad, as well as numerous documents in the related cursive Zabur script. In the Race Geste Divi Augusti, Augustus claims that By my command and under my auspices two armies were led at about the same time into Ethiopia and into Arabia, which is called the Blessed. Great forces of each enemy people were slain in battle and several towns captured. In Ethiopia the advance reached the town of Nabata, which is close to Muroi. In Arabia the army penetrated as far as the territory of the Sabaeans and the town of Marib. Topic. Religious practices Muslim writer Muhammad Shukri al Alusi compares their religious practices to Islam in his Bulla al Arab Fi Awal al Arab. The Arabs during the pre Islamic period used to practice certain things that were included in the Islamic Sharia. They, for example, did not marry both a mother and her daughter. They considered marrying two sisters simultaneously to be a most heinous crime. They also censured anyone who married his stepmother, and called him Dazan. They made the major Hajj and the minor UMRA pilgrimage to the Kaaba, performed the circumlocution around the Kaaba Tawaf, ran seven times between Mount Safa and Marwa Sa'i, threw rocks and washed themselves after sexual intercourse. They also gargled, sniffed water up into their noses, clipped their fingernails, removed all pubic hair and performed ritual circumcision. 
Likewise, they cut off the right hand of a thief and stoned adulterers. A late Arabic writer wrote of the Sabaeans that they had seven temples dedicated to the seven planets, which they considered as intermediaries to be used in their relation to God. Each of these temples had a characteristic geometric shape, a characteristic color, and an image made of one of the seven metals. They had two sects, star and idol worshippers, and the former doctrine was similar to one that come from Hermes Trismegistus. Biblical references Sabaeans are mentioned in the biblical books of Job, Joel, Ezekiel, and Isaiah. The book of Job mentions them as having slayed Job's livestock and servants. In Isaiah they are described as "...tall of stature". <laughs> mentions in the Quran The Sabaeans are mentioned in the Quran twice as Qawm Saba Arabic, Kawem Saba a people of Saba. The Quran mentions the kingdom of the Saba in the 34th chapter. The Quranic narrative, from Surah 27 and Naml, 5 has Suleiman Solomon getting reports from the Hupu bird about the kingdom of Saba, ruled by a queen whose people worship the sun instead of God. Suleiman Solomon sends a letter inviting her to submit fully to the one God, Allah, Lord of the Worlds, according to the Islamic text. The Queen of Saba is unsure how to respond and asks her advisors for counsel. They reply by reminding her that they are of great toughness, in a reference to their willingness to go to war should she choose to. She replies that she fears if they were to lose, Suleiman may behave as any other king would, entering a country, despoiling it and making the most honorable of its people its lowest. She decides to meet with Suleiman in order to find out more. Suleiman receives her response to meet him and asks if anyone can bring him her throne before she arrives. A jinn under the control of Suleiman proposed that he will bring it before Suleiman rises from his seat. One who had knowledge of the book. Proposed to bring him the throne of Bilki in the twinkling of an eye and accomplished that immediately. Sixth, the queen arrives at his court, is shown her throne and asked, does your throne look like this? She replied, it is as though it were it. When she enters his crystal palace she accepts Abrahamic monotheism and the worship of one God alone, Allah. <laughs> Rulers See also Ancient South Arabian art Hamdan tribe Manian kingdom Near East Marib Dam <laughs>